Hey, what's up, explainers? Super excited to have you on board for this video in which I'm going to show you my top five resources to become a genius hacker. And apart from that, I have a couple of giveaways for you spread throughout the video, so make sure to stay tuned. When I was young, before becoming a penetration tester, I had no clue where to look out for amazing resources on hacking, cybersack, and all the niches that are out there that you wanna learn and get to know about. And in this video, I kinda wanna give you five resources, my personal top five that I wanna recommend to you to use as a starter or intermediate hacker. So. I wanna walk you through my five top resources, starting with number five and going all the way down to rank number one. And let's just jump straight into it right now. And I wanna start with my fifth place on the best hacking resources with offensive security. Offensive security is a certification platform that offers you a lot of different courses covering a lot of different topics. If we look down below, they have classes like penetration testing with Kelly Linux, advanced web attacks and exploitation, cracking the perimeter, advanced windows exploitation, and wireless attacks. First, the only reason why offensive security is only earning the fifth spot is because they cost quite a little bit of money. So let's jump into one of the courses and look at the pricing model first. If we go down, we see that for an offensive security course, you pay roughly $1,400 if you want to have 30 days of lab access. For 60 days, you pay $1,600. For 90 days, you pay $1,080. However, this is still kind of cheap if you compare them to other companies like SANS, which also have awesome courses, but their courses go away for like $7,000, which is, in my opinion, a little bit too high. Anyway, let's look at the actual content that you get to learn by checking out one of offensive security courses. And I'm currently at the AWAE course, which is actually the one I'm currently studying. And if you look at the content over here, you got to know something about web security, tools, methodology, source code analysis, cross-site scripting, session high checking, .NET, deserialization, remote code execution, blind SQL injection, data configuration, yada, yada, yada. There's so much in here, I cannot even go through all of that because that makes my mouth a little dry. Anyway, I have already been going through all of the labs that are offered if you go for the course, and I can tell you those are amazing. They are sometimes a little hard and challenging, but this is exactly what we want. We want to be challenged, right? So we want to use a lot of time actually to crack those boxes and not just have them done in 10 minutes. All right, let's move on to our fourth place. And this is the OWASP Web Security Testing Guide. I have been producing a video before on this guide, which I'm going to link in the top right corner if you want to get more details on it. But I'm going to give you another quick explanation what this is and how you can learn hacking with it. So first of all, I really hope that you know OWASP. If not, go check it out on Google, read the history of OWASP. It's just an amazing community and group. All right, but what is the web security testing guide? So this is a project that is, in their words, a comprehensive guide to testing the security of web apps and services. And this is a collaborative effort by a ton of really good cybersecurity professionals and volunteers who brought all the information together that is needed to test web applications. And all that together is the OWASP Web Security Testing Guide. And this is the main page of it. I will link the URL in the description. If you go to latest, you find the latest edition of the guide. And the reason why this is my fourth place is because it could be a little overwhelming to you. So if you look at this, there is a lot of text, a lot of links. So 
as I was just saying, don't feel overwhelmed. Don't use that as your very first source for learning how to hack. Use that a little later when you're already a little experienced. But as soon as you already have a good idea what web app hacking is all about, then this guide is just amazing. I mean, I can barely imagine how many hours people must have invested in putting that together because there's literally information and in everything. And just to give you a little bit of an idea of how this can be used, and because I know that you like cross-site scripting, I'll show you the, let me search for that, access as reflected cross-site scripting explanation right over here. So next to a pretty neat summary of what the vulnerability is, which is obviously the first thing you wanna read if you don't know at all what, in that case, for example, cross-site scripting is, you have so much more to it. You have an explanation or a guide on how to test it. Like, are you testing it in a black box scenario? Then you can do it that way. If you scroll down a little bit, you find payloads, you find technical explanations, you find examples how a successful exploitation would look like, you find examples covering different scenarios like uh, what if you have an XSS filter, a WAF in place, how can you bypass it? How can you evade it? There is so much that you can find in that guide and this is why I love it. And last but not least, you also have a tool section at the very bottom that gives you additional handy tools that you can use to search for those vulnerabilities if you think that doing that manually is too much effort. So anyway, give the OWASP Web Security Testing Guide some time, give it a chance. It's an amazing piece of information. So now we're reaching our third place. And my third place is Pandester Lab. Pandester Lab is similar to offensive security in a way that you're getting labs that you can work on hands on. So you have actual machines sitting in front of you where you can try out your skills and get better in web app hacking. And the difference between Pandas Lab and Offensive Security is that if we go to the pricing model, it's just way cheaper. So let's say if you want to give it a try and you don't have a lot of money, you can just spend $20 on trying out the professional version. Or even better, you can try it out for free. <laughs> you ask yourself how? Huh, let me tell you. I'm super excited to announce that Pandas the Lab actually sponsored this video by giving me a professional license that I want to share with you right now. And if you look closely at the screen right now, you might get an idea on how you can get a pro license for free for one month. But let me tell you, you definitely want to be the first using that license and you might want to keep watching for more licenses so give it a try all right back to pandas the lab so what is pandas the lab i want to show you a couple of the exercises that pandas the lab offers so if we go up here and we go to all categories we see what pandas the lab has to offer and they have a ton on everything. So it doesn't matter if you're into code reviews, if you wanna hack OAuth, if you wanna learn how to do recon, if you have no idea how SAML security works and you wanna break that, if you, what else? If you have um, no idea how to find Java serialization bugs, there is pretty much a lab there for everything. It still surprises me if I go through that list because it just keeps going and keeps going and keeps going and keeps going. Anyway, give it a try. Even if you don't get one of my vouchers, make sure to check out Pandas Lab as this is a really great resource. And the price is low. This is why I put it on my third place. All right, let's move on. All right, only one more spot to the top. Our second place on our road to become a 
professional hacker using the best online resources that are available is Portswigger's Web Security Academy. Quick reminder, if you don't know what Portswigger is, they're the creator of the amazing tool called Burp. If you don't know what Burp is, check out the link that I'm going to link you in the top right corner. I have produced a little session on how to use Burp. Anyway, Web App Security or the Web Security Academy is a free online course, a whole security training for you. And I am going to repeat myself, but the best is that it is for free. And this is also why it is my number two, because my number two and my number one are entirely free. Number one, you will check out in a bit. Back to Portswigger's Web Security Academy. So you can just go to their page, link is down in the description, and you can sign up. Once you've done that, you will get access to learning materials and labs. And I want to go down and click on all labs because the amazing thing is exactly like offensive security and pandas the lab, you get hands on labs to play with. It's not just boring documents, PDFs, whatsoever, where you read something, it's actual hands on material. And look at all the categories over here. It's stuff on SQL injection. It's stuff on, there's a lot of stuff on SQL injection. It's stuff on cross site scripting. There are labs on what else? There's a ton on, there's a ton of stuff on cross site scripting. Uh, stuff, uh, labs on cross site request forgery, labs on click checking, labs on DOM based vulnerabilities, cross origin resource sharing, XXE injections, SSRF request smuggling. I mean, you guys have heard all those terms before command injection, SSTI, and a lot more. And trust me, I've been going through a lot of those labs and they are really nicely done. All right, make sure to check out the Academy. And if you actually make it through this entire lab or through all of the labs, you will definitely know a lot of stuff on web security. So check it out. All right. And here is my number one of the best resources on the internet if you want to learn hacking. And you already see it. It's YouTube. So why YouTube? YouTube, first of all, is for free. And you might have seen that I ranked the ones a little higher that provide education, hacking knowledge for free. And I want to rank YouTube the highest because the amount of information you can find on there is just incredible. And there are so many amazing content creators that offer really good videos, videos teaching you how to hack how to learn something new in web app security, in reverse engineering, in all of the tiny niches of hacking, all for you, all for free. And just to give you a couple of examples, I want to say, go and check out folks like Insider PhD. You definitely want to check out Katie's stuff over here. Go and check out stuff from stack right over here. Definitely amazing stuff right over here. Go and check out stuff from people like Superhero One. Superhero One. Here we go. Check out stuff of Superhero. There are so many content creators and I don't have time to list them all over here right now. But I want to show you something where you can find more information on a couple of really good ones. And this is if you go to my own channel called Hacksplain. I hope you know that by now. And you click on that and you go on videos and you go down to top 10 CyberSack hacking YouTube channels. You get a pretty good idea of where to start. So you definitely want to check out that video where I list a couple of the best channels out there that you definitely want to check out. They are also listed down below here in the description. And if we scroll down to the very bottom, there is also a hint for you.
wait a second, how's that related right now to what I'm telling you? Well, maybe this hint has something to do with the amazing sponsorship by Pantasta Lab. So you might want to solve the challenge of place number three, Pantasta Lab first, and then maybe use that hint over here to have a good chance to get another month for free. Or I hope that two people actually get those one month for free. So make use of that hint. Once again, Pandas to Lab really great stuff. But now back to YouTube. Check out all those amazing channels, check out their creations, and you will learn a lot on everything hacking. All right, that sums up my top five resources. And now back to Pascal Sack. Oh, wait. Before going back to Pascal Sack, I actually want to make you aware one more time about my Hacksplain Patreon. So if you enjoy watching my videos, please consider subscribing to become a Hacksplain Patron. It doesn't matter if you want to be a jamming scribble, a quicksilver batcher, a supersonic wolf, or a bulletproof dinosaur. There is a membership for every one of you. Make sure to become a Hacksplain patron. I would really, really, really appreciate your help because producing all those videos takes a lot of time. And also the equipment that I use takes a little bit of money. So help me out. And now I really wanna go and get back to Pascal Sack. All right, Pascal Sack here back for you. I want to thank you one more time that you were watching this video together with me. And thank you for being part of Hexplain. Make use of those top five to become a genius hacker. Let me know in the comment section down below if you are a beginner, an intermediate, or an advanced hacker, and let me know how those resources work for you. Apart from that, make sure to check out all my other videos, subscribe in the top right corner right over here, and stay tuned for future Hacksplain episodes. All right, see you soon.